Hey everybody, how's it going today? Hope everybody's doing a good, uh, having a good day out there. Uh, today's another quick review video. This is actually a, a waterproof tight case uh, that I've got picked up for my Osmo and my uh, Osmo, uh, my mobile and my Osmo Plus. Um, something that I want to carry around and keep uh, keep them all in good good shape if I'm if I'm traveling anywhere or or doing anything where I want to keep these things uh, stored properly. Uh, I'll go ahead and this is brand new. I haven't even uh, cut any of the squares out to make it. Uh, uh, conform to to the Osmos yet, but I'll I'll do a video on that so that I can uh, show you guys how how to do that or or if you've got a, a drone out there or anything else you want to protect. I think these are awesome. They're they're very durable. I picked this one up from Harbor Freight. It was forty bucks. I used the twenty percent coupon. Uh, got the price knocked down. As always, uh, Harbor Freight's just a, a steal when you can use those coupons and and uh, use the other one to go get something free, a free flashlight or a tape measure or something. Uh, but this is the Apache thirty eight hundred. Um, they call it a weatherproof protective case. Of course, you can you can uh, have it cut out for guns and uh, magazines and all kinds of stuff, camera equipment, electronic tools, um, anything valuable that you want. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use mine for my Osmo Mobile and Plus, uh, just because uh, you know these things do you know have the gimbal system and they're, they're pretty fragile. So you know I, the, the normal case that it comes with is. It's just not something I want to uh, lug around, and I figured I'd just get them both uh, ready to go in here. But I'll give you guys a quick rundown. Uh, what I like about this plate, you know, this one's got a nice little thing you could uh, stop a lock on. I'm sure all of them have it. The greatest thing about this one, though, is 40 bucks. You know, you can't go wrong with that. It knocks it down to 32 bucks by the time you, if you use a coupon and everything. Um, you know, I'm sure it's not the best one out there. Obviously, the Pelican cases, those are wonderful too, but you know, you're gonna spend anywhere between 80 and a, 300 bucks depending on what kind you want. So um, if you're just looking for something simple that's not terribly uh, valuable, you know, if you've got some great DSLR cameras out there or something, yeah, or, or a drone, you know, I'd probably go with the uh, Pelican route. But for something simple, um, I think this is a great, great alternative. Of course, uh, you know, it's got its, it's, it's it clamps down right there. It's got the two, uh, two lock. And uh, here I've got the actual receipt in here. Yeah, so by the time it's all said and done, it's thirty one ninety nine. Um, can't go wrong with that. Obviously, it's kind of got the eggshell uh, foam up here, and uh, obviously, it's completely flat here. You pick it up; it's got a nice uh, inch and a half, two piece, two inch piece. And you can see actually when I'm bending this, you can see all the little squares start popping out. And so, you know, if you want to get an exacto knife or a razor blade or or I don't know, pocket my knife would even probably work, just may not be as sharp enough. But you can come in here and just start popping these out, really. You can just grab them, pull them. I obviously don't uh, recommend that part. I'd, I'd come in with an X-Acto knife. And uh, what I would actually do is I'll actually uh, step out of the frame real quick. And uh, I'll show you an extra one of the Osmo Mobiles that we've got here. You know, I, I would obviously uh, place this right here, however way you want it. And uh, I'd actually take that X-Acto knife and just kind of trim around it. You know, uh, I, I'm, I'm a perfectionist at some things, but at the same time, uh, for this just to plop down in it, I would think uh, you just kind of get the outline of this, pop it out, and you can see that this one's obviously doing the same thing. It's the exact same piece, and uh, just has all those little squares in there, and you would obviously do the exact same. Uh, the bottom is more or less just uh, an extra inch or so piece uh, just, just along the bottom, but you can see, how solid that is. I mean, it's a it's a nice solid mold. Uh, the only thing that I'm I'm not certain of, and I, I'm thinking it might be something just to, uh, uh, you know, let some air in and out. I'll try to zoom this in because this is this part is the part I haven't really uh, understood. I've I've kind of read the tag for it, but uh, maybe I just don't get it. Let's see if I can get this in here. You can see this little part is this little screw. And so they've got this little knob up here in the front that you can screw in and out. And I, I, I think it's maybe to do something with dust proof, but at the same time, maybe get some air in there. I, I, I really don't know because obviously you, you want this thing to be weatherproof and uh, waterproof as much as possible. Um, but anyway, they call it a pick and pull foam insert is basically what it is. Um, so like I said, you know, I'm... I would I would test a couple squares that I'm gonna pull out anyway uh, in that other video, and I'll just actually pick it out and pull it and see if how how it actually uh, turns out. And obviously, it's on both sides that it does that, so it, you know you can have one layer on the top or the bottom, uh, store all kinds of stuff uh, that you want in there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, I I think this is gonna turn out really nice. Uh, like I said, 
you know, I'm just gonna cut out with an X-Acto knife or a razor blade the outline of this. And if, it, if I've got room in there, obviously I'm gonna throw my uh, the, the the Osmo Mobile uh, the Osmo Plus, uh, which is the one that's uh, you know I'm I'm still videoing a lot of my videos on the uh, iPhone just because it's so much easier to upload and not not downloading the computer and doing all that stuff. But uh, I do have the Osmo uh, Plus that I want to put in here. That's the one that actually has the 4K camera on it and everything. But uh, that one's the the little bit more pricier one that I bought this for. And if I, if time allow or space allows, I'll probably make a little incision here on the backside for the uh, what I've got got the stand up on. You guys can see the the other videos that I've done. Maybe I'll put a little spot in here for the uh, the, the DJI tripod and the uh, the extension rod. Maybe I I might be able to squeeze them here on the ends or or somewhere in here. Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and read you a couple bullet points and I'll wrap this video up. Uh, so they call it obviously the weatherproof protective case. They call it watertight dust proof and impact resistant. Obviously that's uh, that's what we all want the most. So you can toss it around in your trunk if you pick it out and it falls on the ground, everything will be just fine. They call it an IP665 rated watertight and dust proof. Pick and pull foam insert for impact absorbing protection. Strong and secure, easy open latches. Obviously the, the these latches that I showed you guys. Uh, adjustable pressure release valve equalizes pressure for easy opening. So I, I guess that's what's happening is maybe it's creating the seal in here. And uh, so you're using this knob, that makes sense I guess now, is that uh, you're using this knob to kind of relieve a little bit of that pressure so it's not, um, you know, suction cup so hard. It's kind of like when you put two uh, plastic cups together, sometimes it creates that that uh, nice suction force in there. So uh, I'm assuming that I guess that's uh, that would be a problem maybe uh, in the future. Um, don't really know that yet. But anyway, uh, the last one is pre-drilled for two padlocks. Obviously this part right here, and of course it's got some metal um, in there for it to be a little bit more secure. Um, obviously they are not included. Um, but like I said, pick this one up from Harbor Freight, 40 bucks. I'm probably gonna go pick another one up for uh, other things that I've got around the house that I might wanna travel with, or uh, it's just you know, 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. And uh, like I said, you know, at the end of the day, you pick it apart, you make it exactly what you want. The customizable feature is obviously the best part, um, you know, but they all do that. But you know, again, 40 bucks, you just can't go wrong. So anyway, um, solid, solid little piece. Um, Rugged Mobility, it's right there in the name. It's the Apache 3800 review. Hope you guys like it. Uh, as always, feel free to comment, like, subscribe to us down at the bottom, and I, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys.